Step seven, coping mechanisms. What are mechanisms and how the heck do I cope with them? I utilize coping mechanisms every day to live a more balanced life. When I'm having symptoms of my mental illness that are controllable, I turn to things like coping mechanisms. Developing strong interpersonal connections with the people that I care about and the people that care about me. Giving back to my community and others. Helping caregivers care. Drop and do push-ups until fail. These are some of the things I do when I have a moderate or mild mental illness symptom that get me back on track for the rest of my day. So uh, if I'm having a paranoid episode, one of the things I will do very frequently is drop and do 50 push-ups. And I'm telling you, because I've done this for so long, it puts me in a better state of mind. Uh, when I am feeling depressed and lonely, and, uh, and I'm, maybe I'm out traveling and I've got no one else to talk to, I get my sketch pad out and I draw. I draw positive, beautiful things because it makes me feel better inside. When I am uh, having a hallucination, both auditory and visual, I'm seeing things that nobody else sees because of my mental illness. I put my hand in front of me. I grasp my hand like so, and I remember that this is the real reality. And the hallucination, well, that's a distorted reality caused by psychosis, caused by my brain, caused by mental illness. These are some of my coping mechanisms. What are yours? How are you going to find them? And when are you going to get them? You're going to get them ASAP because it's going to help you heal. Yeah. Some more tips on coping mechanisms that I think might be important to you and someone you love. Um, socializing with friends, that goes right in there with developing interpersonal connections that help you heal. Uh, spending time with a pet. If you don't have a pet, uh, they're, they're furry, they're cuddly, they're lovable. Get one if you can. It might help you feel better. There are so many service dogs, both for even the military and for civilians, that help people heal every single day. They help people cope with their illnesses. They help people free themselves from mental suffering, and they can help you. Participating in positive hobbies. We talked about some of the things I do. I draw. I write. I exercise. They keep me stable. Uh, without healthy coping mechanisms, utilizing them every single day throughout your entire day, you're going to suffer more. Without them, you're going to have increased levels of stress and anxiety. You're going to have resistance to wellness and treatment. Uh, and you're going to have a weakened immune system and you're going to isolate. If you can find a way to utilize these better coping mechanisms to stabilize your life, it's going to, it's going to help you on a regular basis and people around you are going to notice your change. It's fantastic. So look them up. Find more than I've given you. Find as many as you possibly can. And, and you know what? Incorporate them in your lifestyle. It'll help.